What's up guys? Welcome to my new series, Wine and Design. If you're new here, my name is Julene and I do home decor and interior makeover videos. Today, we're gonna start my new series called Wine and Design. I'm gonna sip a little wine. You're welcome to join me. And we're gonna go over some of the things I look for when I'm designing a space. So you'll walk through the entire process with me from picking the furniture, the layout, texture, lighting, everything you can think of, we're gonna do it together. Hopefully you can take some of these tips and it'll be helpful for you when you're designing your space. So sit back, relax, grab your wine. I've got mine. Today I'm gonna try the 19 Crimes Cali Red Wine. So my cousin told me about this wine and it really interested me because it's kind of like a story. It follows all of these different criminals and if you download the app and you snap the picture, it gives you the details of the crime that they committed. Um, so I'm gonna try to download that and show you guys, but I just thought it was really cool. I love watching like crime um, mystery channels and like investigative discovery. Uh, so I was like really interested in this and I also like a little red wine. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. If you have a bottle of wine, you can go ahead and pop it open and join me for a little design. One eternity later. It's gonna be a long video. Cheers! This is the best idea I've ever had. This is really good, y'all. I'd call that one potable. I have had worse things in my mouth. <laughs> so let's get started. I like to use this program called Spoke. It's an interior design company and they have a website uh, for interior designers um, you don't have to be a professional designer to be on the website I highly recommend it it's fun you can like play around with different designs and really build up a skill and discover new like furniture pieces I love it I'm on the website and I'm going to first go to tools and then I'm going to go to viz so I'm gonna be doing my mom's guest room makeover pretty soon. Um, and I think I want this project to lean more towards that, um, the design. So let's go ahead and pick a room that's somewhat similar or as close as we can possibly get to the guest room. Go ahead and go with this room, the relatable room. Whenever I'm designing a space, the first thing I ask my clients or the first thing I think about is what is going to be the function of this space. So I'm doing her guest room. So obviously it's for guests who come into town. Um, she doesn't use it for a getaway, so it'll just solely be for a guest. And when you are traveling, you want a calm oasis. Like you want a place that's calm, inviting, um, and cozy. So that's what we're gonna try to aim for. Before I pick a bed, I'm gonna go ahead and add some detailing. So let's go to my things. I'm gonna add some, I'm gonna add some detailing to the back of the wall. Okay, natural oak wood slats. So we're gonna use these wood slats all against this back wall. So but I don't want super high slats. I almost want to create an effect of like a really long headboard that goes from wall to wall. So let's just duplicate this a bunch of times and create that look. Again, I don't want it to go too high. I wanna have like a really... Bye! Okay, so I'm gonna continue to put the slats along the wall. Okay, I love this piece. I'm gonna use it. It's like a gold credenza. Let's use this. I would put this on the opposite end, like across from the bed. It's my favorite thing to have like a big piece like that directly across from the bed. So I'm gonna face it this way just for our reference, but it typically would be facing the other way. I'm gonna show you how I like to lay out things. So let's get started with the big pieces. I always start 
with big items unless I come across like a piece of art or something that I just love or a rug that I just love I try to start with the big things first and then work my way out so so the first thing I want to do is look for a bed frame one thing I love about this website is that you can also go to your favorite websites and get links and get those specific products if you don't see what you like here when you are designing a space and you're mood boarding, I say go all out. Just pick whatever you want. Pick the most expensive thing and then you can go and find things that are similar to it. You wanna really have your ideal room and then you can just go find like dupes and substitute, <coughs> substitutes, substitute. What are you talking about? Pull oh, yourself yeah. together. So, it's so hot in here. Beds. Okay, here we go. This is good. Import. If it's a really modern space, you don't want to put like country farmhouse looking items in a really modern space or vice versa. Um, I always say to lean into the architecture of the space um, why did I even bring that up again? <laughs> you have to have plants in a space. No, that's ugly. Hoping you'll find. This is becoming a very neutral room. We're gonna need something like the like pop. You know what I'm saying? We got the slating in the back for texture, and then we got the extra texture with the little like sheep sheepy what is that called i don't know that that sheepy texture um it looks like sheep texture on texture on texture now let's get some lighting and art and we also need side tables so actually first let's get a side table let's make sure it's center symmetry is a big part of design you want to make sure that everything is symmetrical like i have this huge plant right here but I would I mean you know what actually it is kind of symmetrical the plant being there because you have the window on one side and it's balanced out with the plant so if, as you can see the plant is stopping right about where the window is that's a good example of symmetry you know what I'm not finding any nightstands on here so I'm gonna go to some of my favorite stores let's try pottery barn I kind of want like a sculptural cool piece. No, no. I like this. I, I, I like this. Okay, but well look at it. It's $18.99. I'm not gonna get a nightstand for $2,000. Oh no, I can't do that. No, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. Help me, I'm poor. But I'm gonna use it in the design and then maybe I can DIY something that's similar. So let's go ahead and grab this and put it into the design. Ugh. There we go. I don't like the baskets. I don't hate them. I don't hate them. I just don't like them. So there's lots of small details that can make your space that people forget about. Key things that really make or break a space are art, lighting, curtains are big for me, rugs, and texture. Um, you have to get the right lighting, even like the right ball temps, like you have like warm temperatures, you don't want anything like really stark white like you would see in a hospital or an office space. Uh, really setting the mood and making it cozy. I like to say when you walk into a room you want to tap into your five senses. I like a little bit of glam. So here's a nice glam side light. Well, let's see what this would look like on the ceiling. I don't like the idea of like a ceiling light and side table lights, at least not ones that hang from the ceiling. If it's gonna be a side table light and we have the one hanging from the ceiling, I want ones that are like set on the nightstand. 
but I do like that the copper in this light matches with the copper on the credenza that's across the way. Let's put it a little bit more to size. It's not quite working for me yet. I don't, I think it's the light choice. I'm not feeling it. I really want some wall sconces to go on top of that border that we have there. I think this light here is throwing me off, so let's just delete it, and then if it works at the end, we'll add it at the end. I like this. I like this. This looks cute. Um, another thing that you can play with in a room are shapes. So I think these lights work because we have the rectangle uh, backboard and then we have these rectangle nightstands. The curve on the bed adds some nice shape and movement to the space and then we have these round circular lights. Everything's not square square or circle circle. You want to make sure that you not only look for symmetry and color but look for shapes. Uh, make sure that you switch up the shapes when you're when you're designing Now let's find some art and a rug. This is the space is needing some color curtains 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 Come on curtains Where are you and put these over here? When you're putting up curtains make sure to put them up higher than the actual window seal it just makes the room look taller and more grand and who doesn't want a more grand room not i i definitely want a grand room damn there we go you see what that just did for the room it just made it look so much There we go, boom. Now we're missing a rug. So let's find a rug for the space. I love the rugs on Lulu and Georgia. So let's go to Lulu and Georgia and see what rug options they have. Let's go. Let's look at the best sellers, why not? Let's conform. Okay, this is my favorite rug on here. These checkered things are really in. They're just not my thing. I can't get with this new checkered style that everybody has. I just don't, I don't get it. I like this one. It definitely goes with my very like vintage mid-century style. Let's add it in and see what it looks like. I like that it has green in it and it has a lot of the colors from the room. You want your rug to come out a little bit from your bed. I like my rugs to be like halfway under my bed and come out like maybe about two to three feet from the end of the bed. And you can add things like candles, artwork, books. Uh, those little details definitely elevate your space and just make it pop that much more. So lastly, let's find some art that's going to go in this space and we'll be all done. I'm going to try a piece of art that I used in a previous project. It's nice and calming, it's pretty big, it filled the space. I like it. Another place I like to go to for art is Tappan Collective. Oh, see, look, as soon as I go on, there's art here. For, but. <laughs> It's not wide enough. I need something wide. I'm starting to get a little buzzed. We need something that's long. So, you know what, I, I think I do have a picture already that I used in a previous design that would go well. Here we go, let's add this. Okay guys, and that's it. I hope you learned how to design a space. 
um, maybe find some tips and tricks for when you design and let me know in the comments if you have had 19 crimes before it's really good thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one design let me know if there's a particular style that you guys want me to try like boho modern um, eclectic something that's different from my style I'd be happy to try it out thanks so much for watching with me and I'll catch you next week see you next time Thank you.